Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back again. Shanghai Dota 2 Open Season 2 CDEC Gaming facing off against LGD Forever Young. I know we're before the schedule, Pog Champ abound. My goodness gracious, it's actually happening. I'm Lyrical, joined as well by Aosin. Aosin, we saw CDEC make a bit of a crazy comeback. I, I don't even know if it's necessarily a comeback. It was just a really bad laning stage for them, and then they dominated. That's basically what it felt like. Yep, they might have lost the laning phase, but they knew how to make their comeback. Whoa. <laughs> the doom. <laughs> All right. That's a thing. Nyx Assassin also. I guess that's the answer to OD. I mean, if you if you doom someone, they, they can't do anything. So, I mean, doom is the counter to everything. <laughs> I guess that's pretty true. Um, definitely a bit of an issue. And, I mean, that paired together with Five the Nyx Assassin, this could remain. be a lot of hate leveled against any one of these heroes um man I, I love nyx assassin as a hero she just he just always feels so strong to me yeah i mean he's so entertaining to watch too if they end up picking uh that scepter like you just park yourself somewhere and you become a turret man that shit is so fun to watch that's great you love to see it um it's always fun too i remember when it first came out i was casting an nel game Radiant and it was jubei who uh, was playing Rubik and he was playing it against the Nyx Assassin. He stole Burrow and literally all he did all game was just Burrow up and down as Rubik. Um, so it looks pretty clowny. It's great if you see it against the Rubik as well. But uh, for now, at least, it's going to be the Oracle that LGD Forever Young decide to take. Um, a kind of interesting answer the single target save against the single target disable. Not bad. Dire team oh, pick. They ban out the sniper. Uh, this was another common pick when, since OD is such a, a top tier pick right now, sniper is actually one of the heroes that can fight him in lane. So people always ban out sniper when they don't want that matchup. Yeah, which is interesting too. Um, Ten seconds. I mean, I, I think that that is that the only reason, pretty much, why sniper's been making more of a Five comeback is just because maybe. of the prevalence of OD. Yeah, they they just. I mean, some some teams like to pick it as like a, a partner to the drow. So when people get drow, they're like, okay, I think I think sniper's pretty good here. So they'll pick they'll pick sniper because a sniper with a drow aura is actually incredibly strong. But for the most part, yes, it's just to deal with the OD. And looking at this now, also you see the nature's prof nature's profit picked up. As far as ganking potential, this to me remaining. seems terrifying for LGD Forever Young. You got the Nyx Assassin going in remaining. with Vendetta. Doom could pick up either you know Shadow Blade or Blink Dagger and become a huge issue. And Resolve then not to top. mention the NP TPing in on top of you. This is uh, like so much kill potential for any of the heroes from LGD Forever Young. How do you combat this style of Dota? Um. Well, to begin with, having a Nature's Prophet, Nyx, and a Doom is like fairly greedy because they're not exactly that great in the in the laning phase so if you're gonna stop it you have to stop it like really early on and just build yourself up so that in case you know when they start getting their levels you're ready to fight against it so this means like your supports need the levels they also need enough space to farm just a little bit to keep up with the warding and as long as they can do that they should be able to defend this off all right well let's see if they're able to make that happen bat rider is going to be the take now for LGD for every young I guess that's something that they could look for now you talk about the sports getting the levels that they need uh, possibly they stack up the jungle for the bat rider he comes in takes it out and easy peasy Five lemon squeezy Oracle might get a level six at that point um, but I, I guess and also CDC don't have the best heroes for um, going in and stealing the stacks as of yet as far as dooms concerned do you think this is gonna be that roaming around doom who just messes with people constantly or is he going to be in more of a farming role mm, it's kind of hard to say i think i'm i think i would have to say that actually you know what this is such a tough call because they have a nyx a furion and a doom like <laughs> most likely this is going to have to be a support nyx i think it's super hard to say it could it can go either way they could do a like a numerous amount of things with this lineup. I'm just hoping that it's Reserve the Rubik time. farming mid. That's the, that's my dream, but I doubt very much that's going to happen. Um, kind of interesting that they decide to take the Rubik and now LGD Forever Young are going to run another bit of an odd one themselves. A Chen. I haven't seen this guy for like a patch or two, it feels like. Mm, this could be the, the counter to Doom. This is the uh, 
We're gonna send the doomed target back, and everyone runs away. And then once it's over, Ten we'll come back at you. Hmm. Interesting. That's definitely an opportunity uh, to Five combat that. The CDC remaining. gaming just go for like very heavy oh. burst damage. Radiant. Mm, I mean, they have the lockdown for it, so if someone gets doomed, they can probably just run over everyone else if that target does get sent back. Well, let's see if that's the this had to go. You know, Chen is remaining. kind of an interesting one. I guess what's the big reason that we ended up seeing that get changed? Five the the, the movement away from Chen. Was it just the, the nerf with the ancients and um his Reserve his healing time. for the, all of his creeps? Or is there anything else like the way that the meta's moved? Yeah, I mean his scepter nerf was actually pretty big. Uh, although to be fair, it was a little silly that it did so much for just a, uh, a scepter upgrade versus like you know every other hero. Right. It uh, made his ultimate turn into thirty seconds. It allowed you to take ancient creeps. It allowed you to take three ancient creeps. Actually, that was pretty ridiculous when you think about it. Because I mean, imagine having to fight against Radiant two black dragons or three black dragons or a mix of Diet black dragons and uh, health increased golems. Like that's so annoying to deal with. Goodness, and now we've got the Sven taken as the last pick for LGD Forever Young, and we have seen Sven go to work against uh, teams when they've got you know an Ten early bunch remaining. of heroes that can stack for them, but also Nature's Prophet. <laughs> nice little remaining. sprout there, deceptively difficult to deal with for a Sven. Weaver. Oh my God. A last pick, Weaver. Aosin, help me make some sense of this. This looks like nothing right. that we've seen Off so lane, far. Nix. All right, just kidding. It's June on Furion. <laughs> Offlane, Furion. September Support Doom. Doom and Rubik. Mid Nyx Assassin. Carry right. Weaver. Oh, man. That is... I like this. Draft. I like this fan pick up, though, because he's one of those heroes where, you know, it's kind of difficult for you to get jumped on without you casting anything. So even if he's Doom, he's still pretty powerful as a hero, uh, even under the effects of Doom, because he just does a crap load of damage and if you manage to catch out the Sven then you know you still have an OD to deal with all right well we'll have to see what happens a little bit of a lag spike there hopefully it doesn't end up hindering us too much further as a whole heck of a lot of smokes are picked up CDC a little bit slow getting outside of their bases LGD forever young have already been able to get out and get ready to place an observer award by mr. Zhao Wait himself um, as far as mid Nyx is concerned, what are you looking to do with this hero? What's the, the big thing that you're trying to get? Because you're not going to... I mean, can you scale as well into the late game as we've seen a lot of other mid players need to do, like the Invokers? Um, I mean, you're, you're a Nyx. You're not going to really... You're not really going to farm, right? Because your Nyx's tool set just doesn't allow him to do that. But when it comes to laning against OD, everyone's just leveling Astral Imprisonment and... You actually can't do that to a Nyx because a Nyx is actually is can can cast his carapace as soon as he comes out and then you don't take any battle. damage. So landing against an OD, you don't have to worry about Astral at least. Okay, that's well, a little something that's pretty nice. And I guess it, has that been the main way in which OD has kind of taken over the meta is through the Astral and the his ability to push out creep waves like that. Right. It's also because of you know Astral lasting four seconds. A really strong setup for your teammates to come in for ganks and all this kind of stuff. So because you have to deal with the Nyx, you can't actually set up like that because the moment he comes out, you're going to be stunned. You can't follow up. Yeah. Well, we'll see if LGD Forever Young are going to be able to get off to another hot start like we saw in the last game. It was one of the quickest bloodstones I've seen on a Timber Silent. Likewise, some of the quickest that I've seen those charges disappear. Uh, what's gonna, oh my goodness, I'm actually, before we get started, I'm gonna go for a quick reconnect right now, because I know it's not gonna end up looking good, uh, so we'll be right back. Would you care to break down for me what, what we expect to see out of, uh, the early stage of this laning stage, and, and what Chen's gonna be trying to do? Um, I think Chen is going to be trying his best to make sure that all, all the lanes don't get as much as they should be. I don't think he's really gonna be focused on farming, he's just gonna be disrupting the lanes and all that kind of stuff. Uh, for the most part, there should be a fairly heavy farming early game. I think everyone's just going to be trying to get their items and levels, especially with the Jungle Doom and a Chen. Yeah, definitely. Well, Ember already just trying.
trying to deal with this bat right at the best of his ability. October will be able to come in and mess with them slightly as well. Already just a couple of right clicks and we'll fend him back. Yep, and there's that spike carapace you're talking about. Super still using the astral. I don't know if that's going to work too well for him. Yeah, you just can't astral a Nyx. It just doesn't do anything. <laughs> you just mash that carapace and you oh. just take damage. He is actually getting destroyed. Oh my god. He's not a 200 HP and I, I mean with the very little mana left on deck. This is a rough one. My god, he's having a tough time. This is one of those matchups where your mid players just, they just ask your mid players, like, what, what do you think is good against this? And, you know, they're all experienced players, and this is probably going to be like, you know what? I've tried this before. Nyx actually destroys OD in lane. Pick it for me. And he's just like, all right, go for it. Just do it. All right, everybody, you're hearing it here now. Try it in your pubs. Nyx against the OD. And he is not at all afraid to be going even under tower here. Uh, we did see the rotation up into the top lane by the Chen. Meanwhile, Doom has picked up some boots and a DD rune, so you don't want to go mess with him. He's going to hit pretty freaking hard. I think once Doom gets level 3, he could probably go around and start making stuff happen. Oh, but instead, the Sun for the moment, September in a little bit of trouble, is going to be able to walk away from this one, dealing a good bit of damage, takes it down. First blood going to September. Nicely played there. Worth first blood. Oh, super is probably gonna get. Oh, they didn't have the mana or the cooldown of Spike Carapace that time around. Rather unfortunate. Oh, no mana though. I don't think they can make this kill happen. Oh, looking for the catch. Yeah, super is just so tanky. Five armor on the OD in the mid lane. That is hard to deal with. Yeah, unfortunately, he used all of his mana to deal with. Uh super in the early phase, so he doesn't have any mana left for ganks to happen. Interesting to see, he went two in Carapace, I'm not sure uh, why. Well, it matches now, at least, the uh, the cooldown of Astral, so they can do it pretty much every time that they want to. Uh, meanwhile, LPC is found October, Penance used, a couple right clicks thrown out, but nothing else of note went on there. That's actually a really good point. I, I didn't notice. This is this is actually a match made in heaven. The uh, the spike carapace and astral imprisonment cooldowns are identical. It's almost like Nyx was meant to counter this hero entirely. Oh lordy, game is hard. That is rough. Although he is just getting tonight at the same time. It looks really funny. Nyx's like animation, his wind up is so pronounced, and then every he's just like these huge swings and OD just. Got three denies in a row. That's frustrating. Well, now another imprisonment. Used on September, wasn't able to find anything, and he's gonna have to head off. September is taking a bit of a beating here. He's gotta be careful. He actually to eat. he oh, eats no. the creep running away. Alright, he'll be able to get it. Yeah, he's fine. He's level three and he has level 2 in Scorched Earth, so he's perfectly fine. Another point right there, the Nyx Assassin does go back for the Impale now, not opting to take another point in that uh, Spike oh, Carapace. Going for Yao up meanwhile. top. Yeah, they get the bugs on him. November is going to be able to walk away from this one, lift it up Yao. He's in a little bit of trouble. They have the catch for him if they want to go for it. The right clicks come out. Weaver finds the kill. Nice little pick up there for CDEC. Meanwhile, Sven down in the bottom lane, able to take down Nature's Prophet. In mid lane, they astraled Nyx. <laughs> action in each of these lanes. Weaver is actually a really good pickup uh, to deal with a lot of these LFY uh, heroes. Weaver is actually surprisingly strong against Batrider. Um, once you latch on the swarm to the Batrider, you can't exactly firefly over trees and stuff like that to break vision anymore because that bug is always on you so you have to deal with it or just try to run away and since bad rider isn't exactly a, the best at right clicking you know you just have to deal with that bug uh, on you at all times uh, now they might need to have to deal with it again as the rotation comes in from rubik 
I don't know if him alone is going to be able to find the kill, but haste turn on Doom, that might be enough. All right, haven't committed the bugs. They do finally go out now. Yao realizes people could be coming from the south side. And no TP. He's got no boot. Yeah, he's still in trouble. They're, they're going to bring in June, and oh, goodness gracious, this hurts. They've got all the trees in the area. They find the kill. A little bit of space created, but I don't know if that was worth it. That's rough. Oh, bottom lane, Nick's assassin uses his first vendetta. Let's see what they do with this. They are looking at LPC. Might be able to find this here. Looking for the vendetta stun. They've got the ulti coming in from the just profit as well, but don't find the kill. They actually walk into the sentry, realizing that he's in the area, looking for the impale, finds it, and that's going to be one. Going their direction, a turnaround stun onto two. October ends up falling, and now Feb in a little bit of trouble as well. He has spiked carapace, hasn't committed it as of yet. They also have super in the area now. Turn back around for the spike carapace, not dealing the damage. Impale connects onto three, but yeah, there was no way he was getting out of there. Very nice rotation from LFY. CDC making a slight overcommitment without everyone being ready to fight. Everyone was fairly low on mana. No one really had anything, so they weren't ready to commit all the way. Well, this is kind of a little bit reminiscent of game number one, where the laning stage went well for LFY. You can see Sven at the top of the net worth currently. Do you think that they need to be worried about something similar happening in this game where they are, you know, out team fought in the, the mid stages? Well, to be fair, it's not, it's a little different this time because of the, the, just the way the lineups are made up. So you don't have to deal with the drow and, uh, CDC aren't like nearly as powerful as the drow when it comes to taking objectives, but they, they, they need their, they need their items before they can do that kind of stuff, but still pretty strong in, in terms of, uh, objectives because you have Furion and uh, Weaver. Yeah, for sure. Not that hero. I, I've been playing him every now and then. It's been pretty fun. I just, I still go Octarine core with Ags every game, which it, I, is why I'm losing MMR, but it's a lot of fun. I just love playing the hero. <laughs> Wait, you're talking about Furion, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Nature Prophet. Yeah. If you guys want to gain MMR, please don't play like Oracle. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good stuff. I'm, I'm not known for that, but nonetheless. June is playing it pretty well here. Uh, does already have his phase boots as well as the um, gloves of haste. So Maelstrom, I'm assuming, for this guy? Um, I think he might be going for Midas. Really? At this stage, yeah. Be pretty cool to see. I haven't got to see that all that often. I mean, he didn't exactly have the best of starts because uh, you have a Doom farming the jungle, so he couldn't exactly farm the jungle. And since... Pretty much all of his net, net worth just came from him being in the off lane, so it's actually not that much. And I think Midas is a pretty good choice here in terms of keeping up. Plus, it's also pretty good against Chen because you can just erase a creep. I'm also really liking the way that he has been able to play this lane so far. I mean, he's died twice, but he's making a pretty good amount of it now. Mid lane, super drop flow. They do just barely find him. And now looking for a little bit more. They throw the stun out. Really well played there by LPC. Caught onto like three heroes. And that might be enough to allow them to escape. The double stuns there with the centaurs is really doing work with the Chen. And LGD Forever Young with their wounds. This is a, a really Radiant rough amount of push that's coming in. GD trying their best to keep them off the towers. Unfortunately, losing the OD means they are not able to fight, and this Fen isn't exactly ready to fight just yet. Um, I think at minimum he should at least finish his Echo Saber and potentially a Blink Dagger afterwards before they really try to play aggressive. Oh, super. He turns it back around. They catch the stun, actually, with that one. They ran into the Weaver. And with that, they only lose the Rubik. I was wondering if they might be able to find a bit more. But not going to happen. LG Forever Young, they lose their tower, but they take a kill in return. This uh, Chen pick is starting to feel like a little odd. It doesn't feel all that strong right now, but we'll have to see how they run it. Um, once they start grouping up and seeing him at the level 6 ulti. 
I mean, the plus side is that he does have three centaurs, so this is a lot of stun duration. Six seconds in total out of him if they can manage to string it all together. And looking now for June, they might be able to do just that. They're following the little treants off the other direction. The TP rotations are going to come in, though. Yeah, LGD, they have to back out. A little too dangerous. Oh, man, they're getting hemmed in. Feb is here. This is a huge stun getting ready to get set up. They connect onto two. Xiao Wei able to get his ulted off onto Super, and there's the imprisonment, but all of the stuns now from the Centaur coming out to keep their buddies alive. On the other side, still chasing Zhao Wei. The right clicks are coming from June. It might be enough. They get the catch there with the Sprout, and he does fall, but he is the lone casualty. That could have gone a lot worse for LGD. Yeah, they were caught in a very awkward position, and... In order to reinforce their teammates, they would have to fight uphill, so... Losing one is definitely very, very good for LFY, considering the situation they were in. Yeah. Well, net worth lead, it's, it's relatively even. Oh, they might be able to find a kill here, actually. They've got Lasso available, but immediately the Spike Carapace comes out. Nyx Assassin was not going to be caught out that time around. It's a super rough matchup when you have to play against... Uh, uh, Nyx Assassin is Batrider. That hero just counters you so hard. And surprisingly, LFY picked Batrider after Nyx. So Yao must be really confident in his ability to make things happen later on. Oh, June is playing with fire right here. <laughs> TP in right as they saw that Sven was taking those stacks. And Monet is going to be in the area. Yeah, they, they TP out. That was a little too scary. That might be Radiant's setting up for a kill here in mid. Feb is looking for it, and they do have Wrath of Nature still. Oh, and there's the smoke breaking. Suddenly they realize, hey, there might be somebody around here. And they're, they're going to back out now. <laughs> Radiant's bottom tower I think that LFY need their spend to initiate for them. I don't think they can rely on the Batrider to do everything, so I think Sven's next item should probably be a Blink Dagger, and once he gets that going, I think they should have the potential to run over CDEC with, uh, the Sven and Udi. He just picked up his Echo Saber, so still a little ways away from being able to get that Blink, but I agree. It just does feel like you... Because if you don't find a kill with that initiation from Bat, it's kind of just like, well, what do you do with the rest of your team fight? There's no other way to control them or get on top of them. Um, which is kind of the problem that Chen's having as well. He's got, like, all those stuns that were there, but wasn't really doing all that much. He actually has found another centaur. Look at this guy go. That's the, uh, that's the strat. You astral someone, or you lasso someone, or you spend stun someone, and then you triple stomp them so they can't move. Not bad. It's kind of an interesting, uh... Top tower. Way to do it. I, I remember for a while people were playing Doom with like a blink and then taking the centaur stun So they would just have that two second stun for the initiation with a doom Yeah But um Like I was saying Sven has to be the one who initiates because you know as a bad rider you are dealing with the Nyx as well Oh man, look at these the centaur army Midas eaten goodbye two centaurs Oh, that hurts. Is under this is such a rough game to be Chen as well. This is a rough game to be a bad rider and a Chen. Yeah, they picked Dyer's Chen after Doom too. Huh. I'm pretty so sure now, that's how that happened, right? Yeah. yeah. So now CDEC have a Doom, a Midas on the Doom, and a Midas on the NP. Like, this Chen is not going to have a fun attack. game. He's just going to have creeps. And he's going to be feeding creeps. Oh, that really hurts. All right, TP in right now. November, they are in the area. They catch one, but there's going to be the turnaround stun as Nyx is still very tanky in the midst of all of this. June TP's in. Doomed already is super, but I don't think they have enough damage to actually bring him down. Zhao Wei also trying to stay alive in the midst of all of this. Rubik on the other side was able to take down the Chen. They're still looking to kill off super. Yao almost brings down Feb, able to turn it back around with the five stacks on the Nyx Assassin. They don't find the kill. Oh, that hurts. Nobody dies from CDEC and LGD Forever Young. Oh, that's a that's a rough way to go. What can you do? It's a bad rider against the Knicks. Yao tried his hardest, but 
he just hits one button and you can't do anything anymore. Uh, now, Weaver might have caught sight there of the Don't Oracle. He does have a TP, but <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna use it there, and no way to break it. Do him just a little too far away. And unfortunately for the Sven, this this Weaver is just toying with them. He just like kept kiting him. He's just running him around in circles, and there's nothing a Sven can do because his entire team is getting zoned out by a Doom and a and a Furion. Everybody by Midas is apparently the call, Radiance but he he does tower. finally have that blink dagger that Radiance you're talking about. So it's something at least. Although Weaver with the Aegis and building towards that Lincolns might be able to deal with it. Oh, good Spike Carapace coming out from the Nyx Assassin. Catches two with the Impale as well, and they might be able to take a fight here. June is in the area as well. They've got Vision. Wrath of Nature could come out. They pop it now, and already a secondary Spike Carapace now. They've got Vision on Yao. Jumps forward, catches on the Sep. No Doom was used. It's still on cooldown. He is going to be able to live through that somehow, though. He's actually getting healed back up now by the Purifying Flames, and Monet controlled for the moment. They don't quite get the surround with with those treants, unfortunately, and Zhao Wei trying to make his escape. I think that CDC have to give up at this point. A little bit too hard to chase there. Yeah, everything was already expended and no one has anything left. So, I mean, not, nothing was lost. They made the attempt, but all in all, I think that was perfectly fine for CDC. They're just slowly building up this lead now, and it's really hard for LFY to fight against this lineup of theirs. Like, No matter how many items the Sven gets, he's just going to get kited every single fight. And I'm looking at this now. You've got three Midases that are online for CDEC. We were talking about it. Nick's picked one up as well. And not only does this counter out the Chen really hard, it's also just going to enable them to go so well into the late game. If if you're LGD Forever Young, how, how do you take Daya's these fights? You need to go for... Like, I feel like they need pickoffs or something, but it's just so hard to make it happen. It really is. I mean, they're not in a position to buy a gem either. I feel like if they could afford a gem, that'd be really nice, but... They're too far behind. They can't risk it. Oh, and now Batrider. They're bringing one in for this. They've also got the Nature's Prophet who can Wrath of Nature. There's the jump forward. Doesn't hit the Impale, though. A little bit of an awkward spot. That was should have been a pretty easy catch-up. And now, oh my god, the Rubik stole Astral. He Astrals. A second one comes out now from the actual OD, Hand of God, keeping everybody alive. Feb is going to pay for that. But Rubik doing a little bit of work, trying to help out his buddy. Yeah, that was really unfortunate for Feb. He was trying to carapace and then get off his vendetta hit, but because Yao just made it over the hill, he had to walk around, and because he had to walk around and still wanted to go for the vendetta hit, he didn't have enough time to line up his impale. Gotcha. Ah, it's too bad there. So the Weaver, I mean, he doesn't have a ton of damage as of yet, but with the Lincolns online, as well as that Aegis. Do you think for Weaver this is just going to be a Diffusal Blade next and start building into damage through the Mana Drain stuff? Um, no, I'm pretty sure this is going to be a Dragonlance first. I, if I had to guess, I think his build should be Treads, Dragonlance, and then probably Desolator. That's my guess. Feby, meanwhile, in the mid lane, trying to push stuff out while not overextending slightly. Aegis does finally expire. Three minutes left. So it's going to be a really short timer, actually. That's like about as short as it gets. Oh, yeah. That's right, huh? Eight minutes. Not often you see that. Well, the Doom does have his blink now, so this is just got that much harder. Oh, oh man, they're going to find this fan. They've it? got Monet there. There's going to be the Infernal Blade. There's the Doom. Steel Warcry as well. June shows up. Why don't we hang out in some trees for a moment? Super is here as well. Are they? Oh, no. They're all going down. Vendetta hit. LPC is going to start to drop. They throw the channel or the Oracle ulti on him to try and make something happen here. But Niao also in trouble. He's gone. Oh, my God. Everybody from LGD Forever Young is going to die. Nobody goes down for CDEC. And this is at the very least a tier two tower. Disaster over by the Ancients. Well, Ben, despite, you know, fighting against three Midases, you're still losing team fights. It's, it's so hard for them, and there's, like, very little 
comeback mechanic for their team. Like, your OD only has Midas and Blink Dagger. He's not going to do much damage. Even if he gets, like, free hits on everyone, he's only a level 1 Arcane Orb. He's not going to steal enough to make much use of his ult. I mean, I guess that's the question, is like, where is their damage coming from at this point? I guess it all has to be from Sven, and if he gets picked off at the start of the fight... I mean, okay, if if LGD for every young lose the Sven at the f start of the fight, shouldn't they just not fight? Isn't that the play? They really should not be fighting, but unfortunately Super got it was in the wrong place at the wrong time, and everyone just fell apart. They, they, the moment the Sven got caught, they should not have tried to fight. Well, Midas's are paying off. You do have a Blink Dagger that's there for the OD. They've got a Blink Dagger on the Sven, so there's like kind of ways that they can fight if they happen to catch one person or get the jump, but um, the, they've just lost all semblance of map control, it feels like. And now, maybe even going to go for Yao. Could be in trouble. Blink on cooldown. There's going to be the Nyx Assassin. There's the Impale follow through and a Fade Bolt. You're gone. See you later, mister. I feel like these are one of this is one of those uh, one of those games where you would just be to your captain. You're like, man, I know you're a veteran. You're really good at this game, but please, don't ever make me play against the Nyx's bat again. Because <laughs> this is such a miserable game for Yao. He cannot get anything done. He he's he's been like walking around trying his best, but every time he tries to do something, he's just carapace. Oh, I'm dead. I can't do anything. And we talked about it, that incredibly short Roche respawn timer. I, I kind of wonder if CDEC are going to go check it after they take this tier 2 tower. If they do, is there any way at all that LGD for every young can come and contest this? Um, I don't think so. You have a Fury on pushing in all the lanes. They're, they're not going to be in a comfortable position to contest. And you are right about the Weaver. He did pick up a Diffusal Blade. So this means that if the Sven is out of BKB, he actually can't do anything because he's just going to dance around him with the Diffusal Blade. Oh, that hurts. It's a hard life. Well, Rubik. <laughs> Run away, little Rubik. He does not have the extra movement speed, though. He might get into range. Can they find him? Fog for the moment. There's the bugs on Monet. He's got the lift back vision. Gonna blink away again. Yow! Run in circles around him. Oh, but October isn't gonna be able to escape. He only stole the sticky napalm. It was looking good for a moment, but didn't quite work out. Space. For sure. And that and was he, he, had, he had to keep running around for a fair while. It's not that bad. No. Uh, it would have been nice for him to make the escape. Oracle ends up taking the kill. Uh, but still a thousand gold swing back to their favor. It's a pretty big lead, though, for CDC. That's when you know you're really behind. When the enemy Rubik gives you like a thousand gold swing. <laughs> yeah. Sure enough. Well, yeah, I was looking again for... The uh, Nyx Assassin is going to be dusted. Has a four staff, but what else really of, of note? Can they take him down? He's going to go for the TP away and does get the Spike Carapace turnaround stun onto three, but I think he's still Gonzo. So, little pickoffs here and there. LGD Forever Young doing their bestest. They're making it work. I mean, CD and are still in a very comfortable position, but they just make, have to make sure they don't continuously do this. Um, but while all this is happening, they're going for Roshan, and I think LFY know this is happening. Are they making their way over? They're just taking the tier one. Hmm. They're not going to make it in time. So this is another Roshan for CDEC. That's rough. And I mean, there's they, they've got Sven's stun and Sanity's Eclipse, but I don't know if that's really enough to go and contest either. Against the lineup. Easy. So I think this is one of those games where when you're this far behind, I think the best option for you is your next item on Sven should probably be crit because if there's anything that's going to save you, it's a massive crit. So I think that's this next item. Okay. 
They're smoking back in, and oh man, Weaver's gonna break the smoke. They might be able to catch him there. Lincoln Sphere already popped. They don't get the time lapse off. Saving that for after the Aegis. It's already been expended now. Looking for the catch. Can they find the kill? Rubik lift up, stuns onto two. October gets caught out there, but they already brought down the Weaver. He didn't have anything caught at all. The Doom was laid down on Monet, and I don't think that LGD for every young care. They are already even able to bring down two, and they might be able to find more. Ben is a scary man. Uh, the classic caster's curse. The moment you talk someone up, they slip <laughs> up. Every time. Absolutely. Wouldn't have it any other way. Well, in the meantime, this is going to be a pick-off by June in the jungle. The Nature's Prophet finds that Chen, and Dagon is the item for him. Well, we always end up seeing, but kind of cool nonetheless. I'm not going to lie, June's uh, Nature's Prophet build is a very unique one. I haven't seen something like this in a while. Where you go for a farming oriented build and then you build a Dagon. You get a level 1 Dagon and then you build into a BKB. <laughs> as strange as it gets, but you know what? He makes it work. Absolutely. Invis Monet. We'll see if Feb shows. Oh, he might just take out Zhao. Wait, misses the Impale in some trouble. Has to pop the Spike Carapus. Meanwhile, the Tump back time lapse by. The Weaver still looking at Monet, starting to take down the damage. There's the Diffusal Blade. They catch a pretty nice catch as well, as they already pop the BKB for him. Nature's Prophet on the back lines. Take down the Oracle, Zhao Wade. And now Sven is gone too. Super is going to be... Did he... Where did he go to? Oh, he got sent back. Excuse me. So he'll stay alive. But just like that, they lose their Sven and the Oracle. This could be hard for them to hold high ground. Oh god, another one caught out! Spike Carapace doing work. They are going to be able to keep him alive for the moment with the Astral, but in the meantime, Rubik took the Astral back, and now they've caught the Chen. He's going down. They still do have the OD left alive, but everybody else is gone, and they don't have buyback on anybody but Batrider, and he used the lasso in that last exchange. Oh no. Well, just like that, they jump forward. Oh, has Yao done it? He's in trouble too. They bring back the Zhao Wei Oracle. Nice blink away. They'll keep him alive for the moment and flame break. But this is Elena Barracks at the very least. Feb going to make his little walk away. Does have Spike Carapace for when he comes out of this if he wants to go for it. And now Super may be in trouble. They lift him back up and Fade Bolt forward. Take on to the dome. Mr. OD is gone again. Well, lesson learned. Nyx Assassin, good against OD and Batrider. Like, he single-handedly dismantled both of these heroes. There's so little they could do about it, too. This is rough. And, I mean, you talked about it. Sven is going for this crit. It's, it's kind of the lone bright spot that they have in their game, but that also means that when he does start to lose BKB charges, which is now down to 8 seconds, going to be able to kite him out, and he doesn't have room in his inventory for us. Oh no, Holy he's going to get caught out. Oh, there's a doom drop. There's the impale. They brought in Yao as well as LPC trying to be alive. He's not going to be able to do it. Weaver finds the kill. LPC getting ran down. They do drop the Oracle ulti. Not sure if it's going to be enough, but now they're starting to chase down Yao. Wait, the right clicks are there. Super, he's got a sprout. He has a Dagon in a couple of seconds. LPC gone so, and GG gets called. CDEC dismantle LGD Forever Young in two quick games. Man, that was brutal. You know you're really confident when you upgrade your dag into level four. Uh, well, CDC, they took it down. Aosin, after watching those games, uh, what what can you tell us about these two teams? Anything really stand out to you that looked different or cool or unique? I mean, both of these teams definitely had picks where they were very different from all the other teams we've seen, but. I don't know. I feel like LFY are just, they're definitely not in their zone. I, I feel like with their lineup, they're capable of much more, but I guess they just haven't gelled together just yet. They seem very out of place so far. Well, a rough game indeed for LGD Forever Young. They are going to drop down to the lower bracket. Meanwhile, CDEC Gaming are going to move ahead and have to face off against Newbie. In the next set of games as well. 
Their tournament life is not completely over as of yet. We got some more great Dota 2 that's going to be taking place. Be sure to tune in again tomorrow, same time, same place. A heck of a lot more Chinese Dota. This time, I think we're going to be making our way through the lower bracket. Um, and thank you, Aosin, so much for joining me throughout a long evening. It's 7 in the morning, currently on the West Coast. I think you're going to go stream now, is that correct? I mean, we just cast it for, what is it, eight <laughs> hours? I mean, what better thing to do than play more Dota? <laughs> Absolutely. So everybody, be sure to go check out his stream. I'll link it into chat as well. Uh, but um, what's what's your your stream name again? Twitch. It's uh, Eos and Trash. Okay, wonderful. Uh, so we'll <laughs> link that into the chat. But sure to give us a follow on Twitter if you feel so inclined at Lyrical Dota at Eos and Dota. And most importantly, keep on following Beyond the Summit and this tournament, Shanghai Dota Two Open Number Two. That's gonna do it for us, folks. We'll see you guys tomorrow and have a wonderful time. Play some Dota, watch some Dota. We'll see you guys in a bit.